What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Kristen and today I'm showing you how to make pinto beans in this here instant pot. If you don't have an instant pot, you should totally get one. They are super awesome. Anyway, this is really easy, so this is gonna be a quick little video. I'm gonna show you how to do this. Okay, so the first thing that you wanna do is add your dry pinto beans into the instant pot. I'm doing about a cup and a half. They will like double in size, so keep that in mind. But you can do however much you want. This recipe is not su super specific as far as measurements go, uh, which I really like if you guys have watched my previous videos. So I'm adding in a cup and a half of pinto beans. And then you're just gonna fill it up with water. You just wanna make sure you put in enough water so the beans don't burn, but it, it doesn't have to be like a perfect ratio of water because you're gonna drain the beans anyway. So I usually cover them by an inch or so of water. Depends totally on how many beans you're cooking, but you guys can see about how far I filled it up. Uh, when you put the lid on, make sure that you turn it from venting to sealing. That way all of the pressure will stay in there and everything will get all nice and cooked. And then once your Instant Pot is plugged in, you just wanna use the manual button and go up to 30 minutes. And then make sure it's on high pressure and then it just starts all by itself. Boom. All right, after the 30 minutes is up, then you have to wait 10 more minutes. So this will count up to 10 for the pressure to release uh, inside of your Instant Pot before you release the rest of it on its own. So wait at least 10 minutes. If you go a little bit over, it's okay, but don't do it any earlier than 10 minutes. And then you are just going to release the valve on the top from sealing to venting. And to do this, I use a towel because otherwise you can burn your hand. There's really hot steam that comes out of there. So seriously, be careful. And then the rest of the steam and pressure will release. And then after you drain them and rinse them with cold water to stop the cooking process from continuing, you have delicious pinto beans that didn't take very long. You didn't have to soak them overnight. They're amazing in burrito bowls. We're gonna make a chili cheese dip with them. Super stoked about it. Hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And I will just see you guys in my next video. Peace out.